Damn guys, just look at those graphics. Battlefield 4 looks wicked, doesn't it? But no, wait, that's actually real life, isn't it? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I thought I'm going to be showing you guys my PC gaming setup to celebrate my 100th video as well as my 1k subs special. Thanks so much for all subscribers, you are awesome. So this is basically my room, this was my bed, and this is my gaming PC. And uh, it's standing on a really nice desk that I've just recently got. It's 160 times 80 centimeters big, and it's really awesome to have like a like a big desk. Uh, I got my uh, really comfy chair here with like the armrests and everything. It's it's pretty awesome to sit on and to to play in, and also to learn in, because that's basically where I'm learning all the time. But let's just take a look at the components here real quick. So I've got a Logitech G510S keyboard here with like the the shortcuts macros to the left, as well as this pretty awesome display here that displays current temperature of the CPU, GPU, up and download speed in the internet. And you can also see if somebody's talking in Skype or TeamSpeak, which is rather handy actually. Um, over here, I've got my uh, Razer Death Adder 2013 edition mouse uh, for my tiny little hands. As you can see, I got like ladies hands and it's pretty awesome. Uh, I think for bigger hands, it's not the best mouse, but for my hand, it's pretty awesome. Got my SteelSeries mouse pad there, got some creative, uh, sound speakers right here and right there and down here i've got some uh some more bass to it it's actually it's actually okay i don't really bother too much about the sound because i always play with this one this is the g35 headset we actually had to get rid of these kind of rubber banding thingies on the on the ear ear pads i don't even know i just had to get rid of that stuff and and put some 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 foam out there which is rather comfortable right now and uh, then I've got my pretty awesome screen. Um, this is a BenQ XL 2420T uh, 120 hertz uh, monitor. And the pretty awesome thing other than the 120 hertz is that you can basically just adjust it in any possible way as you can see. And uh, you can just basically make, make it um, comfortable in any situation. So if you're trying to lie in front of the bed or if you're standing or if you're sitting, it's always gonna be perfect. So then we've got my microphone, which I'm commenting right now this video. This is actually not commented in the video, I actually just commented over the footage here. This is a Shure PG53, um, uh, it's actually a singing microphone right here. And I have like a, like a sock as pop filter, <laughs> cheap version. Got like a microphone stand right here. And uh, I've also got a pretty big Wi-Fi antenna right here, which is actually necessary. I wouldn't have any connection just with the small antennas of the computer, I have to have this thing. And uh, this little fella right here is a USB audio device uh, that actually has just loads of inputs and outputs and I can just plug in my microphone in there. And this is basically it. This is my PC. It's kind of an Antec 2100 case or I'm not quite sure actually with like loads of fans in the top and front and the side. And uh, let me just get real quick down here. Got loads of cables here. My cable management system is not really that neat, but. Nobody cares. <laughs> let's just open up this thing real quick. There we go. So let's have a look at my components. I've got a Crosshair 750 watts power supply down there, as you can see, uh, which is plenty in my opinion. And I've got an Asus PG, let me just quickly really see, a Asus P8Z77V Deluxe motherboard. I've got my Sotec um, GDX 680 AMP version, so it's overclocked clocked, uh, by the manufacturer. I've got an i7-3077K uh, processor, some uh, cooling on top of it, uh, some 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, um, as well as loads of drives here to the right. I've got like a Blu-ray uh, light scribe device on top, another CD device, that's my SSD. Um, down below I've got another hard drive and loads of cables and, <laughs> and shit, I'm not too too neat in here and three more hard drives down there as well as another SSD. I've got loads of hard drives, I know, but uh, I've got like seven terabytes of space where record stuff. I actually put all that stuff in the description below so you can actually see it. And yeah, as you can see, that's my PC. That's kind of what I've got in there and uh, what I'm playing on currently. So let's have a closer look at the game itself. Let me just real quick start recording here so we can actually have a nicer screen. There we go, we're in game right now, and as you can see, I've got like Rival X Factor's um, config file that I'm using right here. So I'm I'm kind of capping the frame rate at 120 frames, because of course I'm playing at 120 hertz monitor, which is what I kind of want. And as you can see in the test range, it never basically goes below 120 
frames. Um, if I'm playing multiplayer, of course, it's gonna go below that, but it usually stays around uh, 120 frames per second. Sometimes it goes like 90, 100 or something like that, but it's really steady and really nice to actually play in this system. And as you can see, it's like, it's so steady and smooth. It's just, oh, I love it. It's it's amazing. I would never want to switch back to like a 60 hertz monitor. And people that say they can't see the difference, that's just utter bullshit in my opinion. Now, as you can see here, these are my kind of setting, settings here. Um, that's basically nothing very interesting here. Mouse sensitivity is pretty low because I've I'm running at 6,400 DPI. Um, the HUD visibility, I should usually have that at 100% because it's not really 100%, but it's just, it just shows 100%. Um, my ODI tab, nothing really interesting in there. So the video tab, I've actually got resolution scale on 120%. Uh, the HUD size on 20, make it a little bit smaller, cold light off, weapon duff on. Uh, field of view, I've actually got on 100 instead of 90 as I had it in Battlefield 3. And as you can see to the right, a couple of settings, mesh quality ultra, you always have to have that. Uh, Anti-aliasing post a little bit, so it looks a little bit sharper and nicer. Uh, but that's basically all the settings that I have. I can post the settings down below. Uh, but now I actually want to show you guys also how I am playing. So basically I've got like my mouse, of course in the right hand, but I'm kind of like to have the keyboard uh, away from me, like arm length. So I can basically ha hold it like this, have like a, a little bit of a gap between like my mouse and my keyboard. That's kind of like a, how, how I like to play. And I kind of turn the mouse. I don't really have it straight like this. I actually turn the mouse around a little bit. So I hold it, hold it like this. I know it looks kind of weird, uh, but that's kind of the way I like to hold it. And I also like to have a palm grip rather than a claw grip. As you can see here, I'm, I'm really holding it with my whole hand and just play like this. Uh, let's get rid of the sound here real quick because we don't really need that. And uh, now before I'm gonna end this video, I wanted to show um, a couple of tips actually here. So let me just real quick switch to Medic real quick. Go, go, go. There we go. So basically I've bounded um, the uh, the dev hips, so my gadget 2, to mouse down. So whenever I'm, I'm running towards um, a player that's fallen, I can just mouse down and get to the gadgets out. And uh, when I'm pressing the mouse, uh, the thumb button, I'm actually switching between primary and secondary weapons, as you can see. So whenever I'm in the dev hips, I can just click on the mouse on my on my right on the left side and I'm basically back on my in my primary weapon and I can do this while sprinting jumping and doing everything because I don't have to get rid of or hold away get away from the ASWD keys uh, but I can rather just do it with my mouse of course I can show it here because I'm holding the camera with the other hand but that's basically how I play and I think that's the best way to actually play and to be effective in this game uh, but that was pretty much my uh, own PC gaming setting. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, the sun is shining here in Switzerland. Um, but that was it for today's video. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you guys in the next one.